First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming. And secondly, today the topic of our discussion will be the album Horrified by Repulsion. This is commonly referred to as the very first grindcore album ever recorded. It was a huge influence on Mick Harris, the first Napalm Death drummer, who, you know, Napalm Death kind of is known as the masters of grindcore, if you will. But this album was first. It was actually recorded in 1986, but just was not released until 1988-89. Excuse me, 89. Because it was ahead of its time. Much like me, for example. Right now, it's 515, but I am at 518. That's what I mean by ahead of your time. Now let's give a listen, just a little listen, not a big listen, but a very big listen to this album, Horrified by Repulsion. Now again, at the time, there was no such thing as a blast beat. The blast beat was created by Dave Grave, the drummer of this album. I don't know which member he is. Is he the guy with the Hitler mustache? Oh, here we go. The blast beat. Hear it? Blasting away. I've got a Hitler mustache. I've got long hair. I've got a beard. I've got curly hair. The album became a huge hit in the trading cassette underground of the 80s, back when the young metal people used to trade tapes. They would hear this and say, wow, are they playing fast. And the reason this occurred is that one of the guys in the band kept telling the drummer to play faster and faster and faster. So he did. He did just that. And apparently, when they went into the studio to record the album, the engineers had never heard anything like it. And when they heard the guy sing, they burst out laughing. Ha ha, they said. Ho ho, hee hee. Interesting thing is, by the time the album was released in 1989, I guess on relapse, I don't know if Relapse was the first to release it or just the they re-released it, but it's on Relapse. At any rate, when it was finally released in 1989, the band had long since broken up, thinking no one would ever release it. Because it was so intense and insane. Now this is this isn't crying for here, but this is good. This song is called De uh, Slaughter of the Innocent. And actually, this album was originally called The Slaughter of the Innocent Demo when it was just being tape traded. Other song titles include The Stench of Burning Death, uh, Eaten Alive, Acid Bath. This is Decomposed. Radiation Sickness is another one. Splattered Cadavers. Festering Boils. And this was 1986. Listen to it. It rules. It rules. I'm going to bang my head for a moment to show you how much it rules, okay? Here we go. long hair it'd be flying all over the place anyway the album kicks ass if you don't own it buy it none other than mr. Seth Putnam of anal cunt fame a band I might be reviewing right now for markprindle.com once said that relapse is a piece of shit label who only has one good release none other than where'd I put the cover oh 
horrified by repulsion. And of Seth Putnam of Anal Cunt, a band who formed in order to create music that had no musical content, likes it. It must be good. Actually, you know what? I think it was Nuclear Blast who put it out in 1989. Okay? Nuclear Blast. And then Relapse re-released it in 92, and that's the copy I have. And that's the bass tone, because it was plugged right in on some of these songs. If you like grindcore, or any kind of noisy hardcore, or, or crust, it sounds kind of like crust, you gotta buy this, Repulsion Horrified. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. Hello, I'm Mark Rindle. Hello there. I shall kill you all. Listen to that. This is where it all started, baby. 1963, before even before the Beatles. This was even before the Beatles. They were all like, they were all like, Cheerio, mate. Call blimey. Let's make an album like the Genocide Reportion. Cheerio, mate. Call blimey. I don't even want to talk over it. It kicks too much ass. How can I? Oh, did I show you this enormous birds book? Look at this fucking thing. It's like 6,000 pages about the birds. How am I going to read all this? Look at all these words. Jesus, it's huge. I also got this book about Sid Barrett and the uh, Deep Purple story. And uh, let's see, I got this book about progressive rock, listening to the future. Then I got the book about Arthur Lee and love. And I got Julian Pope's Jap Rock Sampler. Then over here I have a book about punk rock movies. And then a book about Mel Brooks movies. And a book about kraut rock. And look at this. It's a big book about heavy metal. Oh, I, I, sorry, I forgot. I thought this was the, the book corner. And I thank you again for joining us on the book corner. And today's book is Precious Metal, in which you can read about such extreme metal classics as Repulsion's Horrified. There they are, the Repulsion Boys, doing their Repulsion thing. And there's a black and white picture of this cover. Oh wait, no, it's a different cover. Well, either way, it's the same fucking album. Leave me alone, prick.